The following summer 2023 update is officially out, and ever since 2022, the summer updates have been going downhill rapidly. We're going to be discussing everything brand new in this update. But first off, if you're going to enjoy the video, be sure to subscribe to the channel, drop a like video, and let's jump straight into it. This year, we've got a lot more rewards compared to last year's rewards for 2022 summer, so there's either two or three weeks of challenges that have to complete to earn every single reward. And if you're in the Fortnite crew, you get this back playing for free, inspired by the skin made by Denny. This concept skin made by Denny should be coming in the game pretty soon. We already got a skin in the game recently, which is in the Fortnite crew. With this update, they brought back old items from last year. They brought back the flare gun and also the ice cream cones. Like, they definitely could have done a lot more. They're so lazy for whatever reason. Like, back in Chapter 1, 2019, we got, like, every single day, new LTMs, unvaulted weapons, but they can't, for whatever reason, replicate that from 2019. And just recently on Thursday, they put in a new lobby background. Like, they thought they were doing enough with the updates. And they're like, oh, let's just put a lobby background in, even though they're on break. Or maybe some random Epic employees is working that day. Even though they're to be on break right now. And to make this mid-summer update a little bit better, if you're a Battle Pass owner, you can now earn the Summer Meowsicle skin. You know the drill is to complete some challenges to get the skin. It's that simple. One a week before they put a new item in the game files, these slap splashes. It comes in rare and exotic variants. Like, they literally could have put this item in the game during this update. It would have made the update so much better. But yeah, they're leaving this item for like another week or so. For the past two summer updates, the updates have been pretty mid. Due to the chapters being four seasons long, pretty much right as they release a new chapter, they have to start working on the next chapter. Right as they launch chapter three, they start working chapter 4. Rise of the Lunch up chapter 4, they start working chapter 5. They pretty much get no time to work on the seasonal events like the summer update, Fortnite Mares, even though Fortnite Mares was pretty decent. But the summer updates are always the third season of the chapter when the chapter is about to end. So they're already working on the next chapter, so they've got like no time to start working on the, on the summer update. So that is more than likely the reason why the past two summer updates in 2022 and 2023 have been so mad because they're already working on the next chapter because it's the third season of the current chapter with their new four chapter schedule. But I want to hear your thoughts and opinions on the Fortnite summer update in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe to the channel, drop a like video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.